Hi ho, facsimile comic book fans. Got a new box of them to, well, unbox. Let's look at my eight new ones together. And bonus, also got a graded CGC facsimile edition. Can't wait to show you what book I got and what CGC grade it got. Unboxing more Marvel and DC facsimile editions now. Simile editions ordered from a little place I like to call eBay. I have been buying these editions at my local comic shop and still will as they come out. But I recently discovered there are quite a few I've missed. Since most of them are still cover priced in the aftermarket, I said to myself, Happy New Year. More chances to experience almost exact reprints of books I once had or never had, but could never afford today if not for these. Beautiful, but hard to unwrap getting appreciate the commitment to protect eight hopefully near mint gems first up mystery in space 75 facsimile edition originally published by dc in may 1962 guest starring justice league nice Batman 232 Facsimile Edition featuring first Raz Al Ghul, originally published in June 1971. Beautiful facsimile, I have now two of them. Speaking of Batman, here's the facsimile of 181, first appearance of Poison Ivy, April 1966. Hmm, wonderful. Can't wait to read it again. Secret Origins of Superheroes, 17 facsimile. First appearance of Huntress, December 1977. Never had this. Can't wait to read it. This is House of Secrets, 92 facsimile edition, of course. First appearance of Swamp Thing, May 1971. So gorgeous a cover, Wrightson, Swoon. I know a girl who looks like that, but that's another story. Great gods, it's Green Lantern 1 facsimile. Oh, it didn't have a numeral one on the cover when it was first printed. It's not a first appearance of Green Lantern, of course, but a beautiful facsimile indeed. Speaking of Green Lantern, here's a fave. Green Lantern, Green Arrow 85. Facsimile of 85, that is, from August 1971. The Speedy on Drugs issue, a great, important comic by Denny O'Neill and Neil Adams. Finally in this set, Crisis on Infinite Earths 8, originally published in July 1985. This is the Death of Barry Allen issue. Never read it, because I didn't want Barry to die. We'll read now with great interest. As I will with all these beauties. Facsimiles allow for immersion into the original material text pages, letter pages, ads, and all. Without worrying, I might be degrading condition of a key book by, you know, reading it. Hmm. Thank you, universe, for this new-to-me set of facsimiles. If I 
can't wait, there's more. Also got a key graded facsimile comic. And it's in, you guessed it, this box. Odin, steady my hand. I do recycle all this cardboard, by the way. Here we go. I reuse all this wrap. Well protected, can't criticize that. Is there a cleaner way to get through this stuff though? Leave a comment, I'm open to suggestion. The anticipation builds. Ladies and gentlemen. Detective Comics number 27 facsimile edition. First appearance of some guy named Batman. Originally published by DC in May 1939. With a sweet grade of 9.8. I will take it. that. Hmm. Love the ads too. Could have buy a printing press. Excuse me while I ogle this for a few seconds. Can you imagine what this would be worth if the original? I could buy a small island for my comics. So here's this week's worth of wonderment, Fax fans. Four color fantasies from comic book history. Accessible to mortals like me, with a little help from my friends, and you. <laughs> <laughs>